welcome to this Times Aerospace Spotlight program here from the shop floor at the Dubai Air Show. And it shows we're talking about this afternoon with Thomas Gaunt, who's the CEO of Arabian World Events. Thomas, what have we got here? What are you, what are you going to be bringing to the audience at the show? Thank you very much. Um, well, we're delighted to be presenting um, the Egypt International Air Show, which will be happening in uh, September 2024 at uh, El Alamein International Airport, which is on the north coast of Egypt. Now, this show is designed for the African and the Middle East airports, I understand. Tell us what backing you've got for the show and why you're doing it now. OK, so um, the backing we've got is the full backing of the Egyptian government. So uh, the Ministry of Civil Aviation, uh, the Egyptian Air Force, of course, the Ministry of Defence uh, and the Egyptian Space Agency. So these three government entities uh, make up the three pillars of, of the show, if you like, which is defence, commercial aviation and space. So Thomas, talk about the need, both in the uh, defence and the commercial sectors, for a show such as this in Egypt and for this region. Well, you'll see uh, from this week at Dubai Air Show, and we are here actually on uh, sharing a stand with Egypt Air, that commercial aviation sector is growing uh, hugely in Egypt and in the region. Um, there have been some massive deals announced this week for Egypt Air um, and other smaller deals for the other carriers in Egypt. Um, that's on the commercial aviation side. Most people know that the Egyptian Air Force is one of the largest and strongest in the region. And with that, there's been big modernization plans in the past and there will be in the future uh, procurement of uh, aircraft. And I think that um, both of these areas are equally important for the show. We are at Egypt, sir, we are insisting to have these first articles in a very good way. It's helped Egypt, sir. it's helped the industry, it's not helping Egypt, sir. And we would like to, to invite the people to come to Alamein to enjoy what is we have in Alamein. It's a different locations in the world. So that's why we, we picked the right time, we picked the right place, we packed the right events. A smaller part of the show and a smaller part of most of these air shows, um, but nonetheless no less important, is space. Um, space will probably only make up about 10% of the show, but I think that the industry understands that this is the future of aerospace and we have fantastic support from the Egyptian Space Agency as well. We're going to be having three separate conferences on focusing on each of the different pillars of the event. So we'll have a defense-focused uh, conference led by the Egyptian Air Force. We will have a commercial aviation-focused conference led by Egypt Air and the Ministry of Civil Aviation. And we will also have a conference focused on space. The space conference will actually be happening at the new Egyptian Space Agency headquarters, which is also the home of the uh, African Space Agency as well. Then getting on to the actual exhibitions itself, of course, there'll be an exhibition showcasing all of the uh, companies and their technologies. Um, we're also going to have a static park. We expect no less than 50 aircraft to be present in that. And there'll be flying displays, solar displays, aerobatic displays as well. Um, and of course, a fully hosted VIP program where we'll be inviting airline CEOs, ministers of aviation and transportation, and of course, uh, Air Force commanders and space agency uh, CEOs. Thomas, thank you very much. We wish you all the luck in the world with the show and we look forward to coming next year. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.